baby. Need you to be my queen. Need you to be my darling. Need you to be my queen. Well, guys, um, there is no intro today. Sorry, guys, because right now I'm going to speak my mind on Daniel and my Dubois. People have been messaging me saying, BBC, what do you make of that page? You know, of Joshua by Daniel Dubois. Are you going to be a fan now and stuff like that? And uh, would you support Dubois now? Listen, I will tell you guys the real truth. You know, there is no way in hell. I would ever support a guy like Daniel Dubois, you know, because this guy to me is a guy from a broken home. Not just that, he's got no respect, no manners. He mocked elderly uh, people with disability. What he said to Joe's mom that came to bite him in the ass, I still can't forget that. At least maybe I. I take it personal because for me, gre- growing up in Nigeria, being born in, in Nigeria, there is this res- certain respect we have for our elders. And you don't mock people with disability. Never. That's like off code. Ever since, ever since, ever since he said that, I've, I've, I cease to be a fan of those guys. But, I cease to be a fan of those guys. And I cannot change my opinion because this guy right here is not a nice person. People want to say, oh, the boy's a nice kid, the boy's a nice kid. He's not a nice kid. He's a sweat brat. Someone that mocks people. And you want me to support this kind of guy? Hell no. to the no. I don't support people like that. Bro. Sorry. But let me play the audio right now so you guys can hear what this guy said to Jojo's mom. When Jojo's mom Simply wanted to ask, simply ask the question. What's going to happen? No, um, my If you get ill. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I've got a question for Daniel. Um, if, you was, if you get ill before the fight, you're going to pull out, what's going to happen? No, um, my dear. You know what? I'm going to do you a favor because you can't see your son after he's been knocked out. You, you'll spare his. Disaster. Because you can't see your son after he's been knocked out. What's going to happen? The championship distance, hold any fears, going against the person with. Daniel, um, if you was, if you get ill before the fight, you're going to pull out. What's going to happen? No, um, my dear. You know what? I'm going to do you a favour because you can't see your son after he's been knocked out. You, you'll spare, spare the. Bro, this guy said it with a smile in, a, on, in his face. A smile on his face. From Quarren right there, smiling as well. Listen, I'm a fan of Frank Warren, but this guy sometimes can defend a uh, fugitive if there is dollar involved. Let's keep it right here, bro. Daniel Danama Dubois to me remains a quitter. Let me I would I would definitely I will break the fight down of this that took place last night and stuff like that. Because I already watched the fight over and over again, and I see, I I just laugh at people that say, "Oh, don't you all like got destroyed by Dubois? That was a total destruction by Daniel Dubois." Let me tell you right now, guys. Joshua lost the fight right from the beginning, even why even before he got hit. Joshua had there was actually no de- no defensive mechanism, no defense. His, his uh, left hand was low. When ever he threw a jab, he threw it like the guy wasn't that. Listen, Joshua was like an amateur in that ring last night. He fought like that. This is even before he got hit. Joshua that have taken right hands from Klitschko. Took it, go, go, went down, go back up, took another one again, and kept fighting. It's the same Joshua people are saying here, yeah, like uh, he was never this good. This is why I say British boxing fans, they don't know what they have until they, they, they lose it. 
I will tell you right now, Dubois he is never going to become a star like Joshua. Not ever in his dream. Not even close. Dubois right now, as we speak, he is yet to even clock 500k followers on Instagram. Dubois, next fight, if he's not Joshua, will be back in, at the Auto Arena. He, will, he, he won't be doing 90,000, 80,000 capacities like Joshua did. It's not happening. It's funny, you have to understand that Joshua is a different breed of fighter compared to Dubois. Dubois is a quitter. He quit twice. Joshua got knocked down four times. He wanted to get back up. That is what you call a heart of a lion. Let's say that was Dubois. He would quit. He would quit. Once a quitter, always a quitter. And Dubois' day will come. It will come. Listen, I'm not saying this because I don't like Dubois. Because I don't like the guy. You know, when you mock disabled uh, people with disability, then for me, my respect, of course, the guy's a kid. It's not, it's not, I mean, I'm older than Dubois like nine years. The guy's a kid. So I'm saying, when you look at Dubois, for example, he's still a baby. But he has like a grown man. The guy can't even put up put put, put up two uh, English sentences, bro. He can he can't speak without the help of somebody. In fact, Ron Warren is the one that gives the boy um um uh, courage to speak. But the boy, you can tell the guy can't put two sentences together. He's just not smart. This is a very personal video for me because um, someone that I know personally who is a supporter of Dubois, you know, has been bugging me and say, oh, no, no, BBC, come on, give Dubois the credit. Listen, I'm, I'm going to give him a credit as a fighter. But does that change? The already basically established opinion of Dubois being a quitter? He's acquitted against Joe Joyce. He quit. Against Usyk, he quit. So he caught Joshua on the on the right day. The right fight the right night of a fight. Good for him. We'll see what happens in the rematch because I know people will say we don't want the rematch. I just want to see it for a reason. I need to know if Joshua is actually finished or that night was just one of those nights that he underestimated his opposition, his opponent. Because I will say this right now. I've never seen Joshua fight that bad. Like, like no like no proper jab the given the jab that landed on Dubois was a problem for Dubois Joshua didn't establish the way he threw the jab it wasn't with that flex you know the way Joshua used to throw the jab it wasn't like that it was just very telegraph that is not really uh, the Joshua we know let's keep it right here the man is 34, uh, 34 35 years old He's still very young for an heavyweight. Something went wrong. I'm not going to come here and blame Ben Davison. But what I would say is that Ben Davison, I would love to know what Ben Davison was working on with Joshua in the gym because I saw no defense. And I still don't like Daniel Danamai Dubois. For me, he's the forever thing. I don't know the guy. I don't want to meet the guy. I wouldn't buy fight. To, I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't spend my money to watch a Dubois fight. That's just fact. You know, because when you've said something in the past, you mocking a disabled person, that is a low for me because I know people in my family, you know, SNL family that have problems like this. You know? So. You understand where I'm coming from? For me, it's personal. 
You know what I mean? Um, so it's what it is. Um, well, um, big ups to Joshua. He deserves a lot, a lot of credit for his heart. Last night, it's not easy to be in this position, and he remains the face of boxing. He sold out the arena, an extra two thousand people came to watch. I understand Turkey Lashik is a boxing fan and is doing great for boxing. But I think Turkey Lashik should ease a little bit of his enthusiasm when some when the, a fighter lose, especially fighters that are cash cows, because without the cash cows in the every division or in the division, he doesn't move forward. You put up a good fight, but who are they gonna watch against who? This is what I mean. So Joshua deserves a lot of credit. And uh, at the end, I already, already said he has a rematch clause. I think he should activate it. I think he should activate it. I think he will activate it. So, yeah, we'll, of course, the Ramones talk about it anyways. Um, the Wilder fight is very interesting now. Um, but I believe um, that Joshua should take the rematch. Well, you go ask and say, oh, he's going to get knocked out. He's gonna just take that I have a reason. I just need to confirm something first. Because I believe that that Joshua we saw last night, that fought like an amateur, I would have beaten Joshua in that ring. And I'm and I'm not even of Joshua's uh oh uh, same weightless. Joshua is like a, a super heavyweight. I'm basically um super middleweight. Not because I can beat Joshua not because I'm part I'm a part of Joshua because Joshua it's not, it wasn't, it was off. Something was off about Joshua. And that's fine. Simple as that.